Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Laura Palaya, and this is Watson. We're outside KSC, taking you inside KSC. Kennedy hosted an important visitor last week. Russell Vogt, director of the White House Office of Management and Budget, came to the spaceport to meet with NASA leadership and tour key agency and partner facilities. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, Deputy Administrator Jim Morhard, Center Director Bob Cabana, and Deputy Director Janet Petro took vote on a tour of the Vehicle Assembly Building, Mobile Launcher, and Crawler Transporter, which are critical to the assembly of the Space Launch System rocket. Launch Complex 39B, where the rocket will launch on Artemis missions to the moon, and the high bay of the Neil Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building. A pair of Orion spacecrafts are being readied for the upcoming Artemis 1 and 2 missions. The Office of Management and Budget is working with the U.S. Congress to line up the necessary resources to land the first woman and the next man on the moon in 2024. NASA and Boeing are working together toward Orbital Flight Test 2, the company's second uncrewed flight test of the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft. OFT-2 will set the stage to fly astronauts to the International Space Station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. Inside Boeing's commercial crew and cargo processing facility at Kennedy, teams are working on the final assembly of the crew and service modules that will fly the upcoming OFT-2 to the International Space Station. On this flight, a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket will launch a new reusable Starliner crew module. Launch is currently targeted for no earlier than December 2020. And remember, for more Inside KC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov Kennedy.